Hello and welcome to this demonstration of HPE Network Virtualization Software. I'm Chris Lucas from Trust IV, a HPE software partner based in Manchester in the UK. Today's demonstration shows how network virtualization can be used together with various other tools from the HPE Application Delivery Management toolset. The demonstration utilizes UFT for functional testing, ALM for managing the testing process, Mobile Center for functionally testing a mobile application on a physical device, and a performance test using LoadRunner together with NV. First of all, we demonstrate the use of UFT to perform a functional test supplemented by network virtualization. We show how UFT can call the NV API to label individual transactions within a business process, allowing you to drill down into poorly performing application code on a page-by-page -page basis and optimize your application performance for mobile users. We go on to show how UFT scripts can be data-driven, allowing multiple tests to be performed sequentially, each using different network conditions. This diagram gives an overview of our test infrastructure. The tester's PC is on the left of the diagram and is running UFT. UFT is configured to use ALM as a repository for scripts and test results. Also connected to ALM is the Mobile Center server. This manages the mobile test devices and gives us visibility of running tests. In this example, we use a Nexus 7 tablet which is physically connected to the Mobile Center server via a USB cable. The USB connection allows us to remotely control the mobile device as well as see the output of the device's screen as tests run. The device is on a Wi-Fi network and traffic from the Wi-Fi network is routed through NV Test Manager to our application under test. In this case, the test application is a Magento e-commerce server and our test business process is a simple shopping journey where a customer adds items to a shopping basket and makes a purchase. The playback speed was increased four times for the demonstration. This first part of the tools demonstration shows how we connect UFT, HPE's functional test tool, to the mobile center application. Within the UFT application, we navigate to the Mobile Center Connection Settings screen, key in a username and password, as well as a server address and port for the ALM server, and then connect. This allows you to open an application within Mobile Center. This instance of Mobile Center has already been configured for this environment and is connected to ALM. We select an application as well as the device that we want to run a functional test against. In this case, we're using a Nexus 7 tablet. When starting a test, we have options to install or restart applications. By doing this, you can be sure that your script is starting from a known start point, i.e. starting from a fresh installation or in a newly opened application, effectively at the application home screen. To create a remote scheduled UFT execution, you need to use ALM. In this screen, you can see we've created a remote host within ALM called TrustIV-27. This host has a status of operational and has a small green icon reflecting that. This is our tester's laptop running UFT. Once you've established that your test host is connected, you can view available time slots. This is standard ALM scheduling. In this screen, you can see that we've configured a time slot for a 3G and a 4G test. Once you've created your time slots, they become visible in the ALM calendar so that other testers are aware of the tests. In this case, we've configured two out of hours tests, a 4G test followed by a 3G test. This is what the tests actually look like when they're executing. These are two mobile center screens, and to show the difference in performance based on network virtualization, the left-hand side has been throttled to 4G network speed, with the right-hand side screen being throttled to 3G network speed. On the 4G screen, you can see the Options tab is open on the left-hand side. This Options tab allows you to change the orientation of your test device from landscape to portrait views, or press the Home and Back buttons. In our example, most of these tests are running exactly the same functional test script against our Magento e-commerce application. As you can see, even at this early stage within our demonstration, the device on the 4G network is running several screens ahead of the 3G device. 
To reiterate, these screens are running exactly the same functional test script and the only difference is network speed. Looking at the left hand screen, the business process has now completed on the 4G network and the 3G business process is still running behind. In real time, the 3G test took more than a minute longer to complete than the 4G test. It is important to automate any tests that you want to repeat regularly. In executing multiple manual tests, it can be hard to work out which part of your application is slow and which time portion relates to a particular business process. To help us identify individual steps within our test scripts, we've written a series of API calls to the NV Test Manager application. They are used to define the name of a particular test, define the flow of traffic between the source and destination IP addresses, define a network scenario and start and stop the named transactions. Annotating tests in this way makes it easier to review historical tests under different network conditions rather than simply using NV for exploratory testing. Once tests have completed, you can go back and see the performance of an individual test within Test Manager. This screen shows those completed tests. The names of the tests are listed on the left hand side of the screen. Test 4 was throttled to typical 3G network conditions. When you drill down into a test, you can see each flow representing the client IPs and the server IPs that you want to throttle, as well as the performance of the network for your test. Test Manager allows you to see statistics for tests that are currently in progress. The charts show bandwidth utilization, packet loss, latency, as well as other network performance characteristics. Once the test is completed, you can look into the analysis of each test independently, seeing the same network statistics that you can see in real time, as well as performance scores for your application. In this case, you can see a web page that's been given a B rating. Like a school report, A is the best, and F means that your developers need to go and see the headmaster. The scores are colour coded, and as you would expect, those that could be improved are coloured red or amber, and those that are good are coloured green. In this example, one particular page on a mobile took 21 seconds to render. On this analysis page, you can drill down into a timeline to view performance impacts. The timeline at the bottom of the page is a waterfall chart showing the relative impact on performance of different components within a page, and you can zoom into specific time periods. Within the waterfall chart, the right hand side of the page shows you the relevant statistics for how long different page components take to download, allowing you to identify components which require optimization. You can also look into errors which are captured by the analytics tool, for example HTTP 404 errors and so on, and pass that information back to your development teams. As well as functional testing, NV has a part to play in performance testing. In this next demonstration we ran some performance tests using NV with LoadRunner. We used the free LoadRunner Community Edition for execution. In this test we were simulating 30 noise virtual users. Noise V users replicate those visitors to a website who aren't running through a formal business process. I like to call these users tire kickers. As well as this, we have 36 normal V users running through our business process of purchasing from a shopping cart. As we did earlier, the playback speed has been increased. This diagram shows our setup. We have a performance tester's PC running load runner controller. As well as this, we have a load generator with the NV agent installed on it. The traffic from that load generator is throttled by the NV agent before it hits the application under test. For this test, we're continuing to use our Magento e-commerce application. This is a recording of the two separate tests running side by side for comparison. In the left hand screen, we have a load runner controller window simulating 30 noise V users and 36 normal V users. Within the graph showing the load profile, you can see that an additional two users are added after 17 and a half minutes. In the right hand screen, the same test is configured but the two additional users that are added have been throttled to 3G network speeds. Other than the network profile, both of these tests are identical. When we start the scenario, you can see the standard load runner windows here with the scenario groups in the top left hand corner. 
we have our tire kicker scripts as well as our normal business process scripts. We have two groups of those business process scripts, one of which does an unthrottled test, another which is throttled. As the test starts, you see the number of running V users increase in both of the screens. These begin to appear in the run column in the scenario groups section and in the scenario status in the top right of each screen. The graphs below the scenario groups window also display the number of running V users, as well as response times for the scenario transactions. We'll skip ahead now to the point all of the main 64 V users in each test are running and ramp up is complete. We're now getting to around 17 and a half minutes or so into the test and the two additional users are just being added to the load on the test server. Remember, the two additional users in the left-hand window are not throttled, but the two being added to the right-hand window are on a simulated 3G connection. What we see very quickly in the right-hand window is the red indicator in the top right-hand corner. These are failed transactions. We have also seen an increase in transaction response times across the board. This is affecting all scripts. It's also important to note that these two slower users, because they're consuming more resources on our test system than land speed users, are having a wide performance impact, not just on the two 3G users themselves, but they are also causing errors on those users that are connecting at normal speed. This highlights obviously the reason why it's important to include NV in your test because a few slow users can have a disproportionate impact on overall performance. That concludes our video demonstration of HPE Network Virtualization Technology with functional test tools, test management tools, as well as performance test tools. If you have any more questions, you can get in touch with Trust IV using the details that are on this screen. Thanks very much for watching.